Gore-Tex crossover and I just wanted to do a quick video review on this shoe and um, I don't have that many miles on them I have uh, about eight miles on them one four mile run but um, right off the bat I got a size nine which is what I wear and it was these are pretty narrow compared to uh, the shoes I'm used to the Sockneys that I'm used to wearing they also were fitting kind of tight, so I went to a nine and a half, which I should have known to do right off the bat, because that's what, what I wear in the Sockneys. It has a similar type of integrated gaiter. These are actually Gore-Tex, whereas the Saucony is E-Bent. So I'm hoping that these hold up a little bit better over time to moisture, because uh, the Saucony E-Bent, um, it seems like after a couple hundred miles, it really breaks down and doesn't really uh, keep any moisture out. Although you can see that the upper is not really, the, the gator isn't Gore-Tex, although it has a nice waterproof zipper that I'm a little bit concerned. Um, it's kind of a fine, uh, not thread, but a fine tooth zippered, and I'm not sure how long that's going to last. I'm already having troubles with, with getting it uh, zipped and unzipped because it is a pretty tight fit on that gator, whereas the sock The nice thing about the upper is that it does have a nice closure and a cord for tightening it, which the Saucony does not have. So you can still, uh, in the Saucony, be getting some, some scree inside the gator. Whereas with this one, I don't think that will happen. And because it is a narrow fit, I did have to... I do have my custom orthotics and my custom, but my uh, running orthotics in there. Uh, and I put those in, took out the ones it came with, and because it was a narrow fit, um, I couldn't wear a uh, padded or winter sock uh, with these because it just didn't, uh, it just made them more narrow. So I had to go with a, just a regular thin sock, which was okay because this was a pretty warm shoe. Of course, it was about 45 degrees today when I was out running, so, and, and sunny, so my feet got The lug is pretty aggressive. Um, they call it an impact brake system. Um, I, I haven't really done any steep trails with it yet. A little bit of uphill. Um, didn't really see anything that was uh, earth shattering about the way it felt on the trail. Um, it did, the first couple of miles felt really firm right through the midsole, um, almost like I was walking on a ball of, of something hard. So that's given way a little bit now uh, after another few miles. And, and they feel pretty comfortable on the trail. That first couple miles were pretty stiff. But now that they're breaking in a little bit, um, I'm enjoying the feel of them. Um, I really like uh, the rubber rand that goes around it, protectant. Um, and I really think the Gore-Tex is going to hold up better than the Event fabric did. Um, and I really like this uh, this more fitted uh, top to the uh, to the gator. So hopefully um, we've got another nice winter shoe in our arsenal here, and I'm going to try and put some longer runs on it and see how that goes. But uh, out of the box, uh, definitely go half size larger um, and give them a few miles to break in so that they'll feel a little bit more flexy than they do. They don't have a whole lot of flex to begin with, as you can see, um, but they have a nice feel on the trail. Um, I actually feel like it's it's helping uh, to, to remind me to, to get my gait a little bit, uh, my form a little bit more on the floor, um, a little bit more on the toe than, than trying to do the, than, than doing a heel strike. So, um, that's it for the La Sportiva crossover Gore-Tex right now. Got it fantastic deal at Running Warehouse on them for 120 regular 150 shoe um, free shipping second day air and the nine the size 9 pair that I had to return was a free return so you can't beat that really and um, uh, if I get another long run in on them or if I get a long run in on them I'll try and do another video update for you so that's the La Sportiva crossover Gore-Tex